What's up, guys? It's Bonnie Banks. We're in the mix, and we are at House of Hope Atlanta for the flip. They're going to flip your favorite hip-hop songs and make it inspirational. I cannot wait to see them hit the stage. I thought I saw a little Cadillac back there with some grills on it. Pastor Choi might be out here. T.I. is going to be out here. And we've hit the red carpet with some of your favorite artists, so you don't want to miss it. Stay in the mix. You are in the mix. I am Bonnie Banks. I'm here with In The Mix and Pastor Dewey. You have brought the flip to your church. So what does this mean for the culture? It's great. You know, uh, been somebody who was in the arts and uh, this is our performing arts building and we've been getting up the par and renovating it. And uh, so we just made some major renovations to it. And so for Jason, uh, my friend, to want to come and do the flip for the first time in Atlanta in our newly renovated you know, performing arts building is huge. So I'm excited about it. So how do you feel about them taking hip hop songs and making it into an inspirational or gospel like anthem? You know, I believe that anything can be inspirational. I think sometimes we're so religious, but even Jesus would talk about birds and lilies and, you know, often ocular, thing, ocular demonstrations were used to convey something that's spiritual and powerful. So I think we just have to get out of the box because everything can be used for God's glory and to inspire people. And Jason's genius is just something that gives us tunes, but to put the message, that's what's most important. Okay, last but not least, what song would you like to hear flipped? What song would I like to hear flipped? Um, that's a great question. Uh, I got so many songs, so many people here in in, in Atlanta. But uh, I, I like Ti's. You can have whatever you like. That's that's my song. Yeah, that, that between two chains, no fish, two chains, my friend. So uh, I look forward to some great music tonight. Thank you, thank you so much, Pastor, for joining us. For me, I grew up learning that you know you can't really take secular beats and put them on gospel because of the intent behind them. And then I remember being in the shower and listening to a mix from Genuine's Pony. Have you ever heard that? Oh, you know I love. Funny. <laughs> I was in the shower and I was like trying not to sing the bad words because it was a gospel song. Listen. So how do you feel about this mix? That is not what the Lord is concerned about. <laughs> he is concerned about the soul and music is a universal language. Now, many may not agree that you have to keep this over there and separate it, but no, the Holy Ghost is decent and in order. He has given this all for our balance and growth. First comes the natural. And then the spiritual. We're going to bring them together. <laughs> I love it. Ricky, you have such a good outlook on everything. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks. It's Bonnie Banks. I'm within the mix, and we are here for the flip. What song would you like to see tonight get flipped? Oh, dang. You put me on a spot like that. <laughs> what you go for? <sighs> Well, what I would go for, the person is not here, but I want to hear a young jock flip of It's Going Down. Uh, meet me in the church. Yeah, it'd be like, meet me in the church. Hey. It's going down. Hey, I feel that. I feel that. That's what's up. I'm going to go with that, too. No, you can't go with mine. You have to know another song, okay. any song. I think I think it would be dope to, to, to hear, like, I think it would be dope to hear Kendrick Lamar. Ooh. You know what I mean? Something Which one? Kendrick. Oh, no. You know, I heard, um, what's the one? Pour it, drink. Mm-mm, drank that one. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. It's like swimming pools or something. I feel, I feel that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can catch that. Okay, so what do you have coming up next? Because I know we see you on Wu-Tang. You're doing your thing. What's going on? I'm actually in Atlanta working on a show called Kingdom Business. And so I play a surprise element to the whole cast and whatnot. So catch me on this new season. That's it's going to be fun. And I'm working have some other things in the work on Broadway and whatnot. So Broadway! I did two seasons with Fella and Amazing Grace. So it's, it'll be fun to hop back on to something. Okay, so it seems like you uh, dabble in the religious, spiritual world as well, and then you were an actor on Wu-Tang. So how is it, does it collide with your um, spirit when you're doing, you know, those kinds of roles? Mm -hmm. I think it honestly opens me up even more so to understand and not to judge people, to let people be who they are and, you know, show up for people from a soul-to-soul -soul perspective versus, like, you know, uh, outwardly expressive. So it, it actually actually opens me up more than anything. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's In The Mix, and I am Bonnie Banks. Yo, what's up? It's Uyota Udi. I'm here with In The Mix. Shout out to Wu-Tang and American Saga Season 3. And check out Kingdom Business coming up soon. It's Bonnie Banks. I'm with In The Mix, and I'm standing here with a young jock, Atlanta's very own. So, jock, we're doing the flip tonight at church. What song in your catalog of your songs should they flip? Knock it out. No. No? They go flip. What they go flip it to? I don't know. Cause either way, they, either way, when they flip it, it's gonna be a positive thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If they flip a couple of grand, that'll be hard. 
But you picked Knock It Out, though, out of all the songs in your catalog. That's because that's the one song that really needs anointing. <laughs> Not the one. That is the one. That is the one. Okay, so tell me how this is going to bridge the gap with the culture and gospel music. Um, making it more accessible. Making it uh, easier to vibe to in a normal setting or in your desired setting. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes... You in the car just listening to regular gospel may not be your thing, but if you can make it feel the way they make it feel, then it might be right to just get all these people. Because everybody here ain't no holy rollers tonight. You know what I'm saying? Everybody here tonight don't go to church. But this shows you the power, the magnetic power that it has to bring people together and to just, you know, intertwine the gospel, the vibe of what they may feel in the secular space, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to see how it works out. I, I believe it's going to be dope, though. Okay, who are you excited to see um, hit the stage or flip their song? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm in, like, when I say I didn't read a lot into it, okay. I interviewed Jason, um, and I was just intrigued by the whole concept, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to just try to just probe too much. I said I want to come and experience as a first-time uh, uh, first fan. Okay. Nice, and then we will be having a Young Jock flip coming up soon, I'm sure. Possibly, I don't know. Gotta ask Jason. We're gonna ask Jason about it. Thank you guys for joining me as Bonnie Banks. We're in the mix. What's up, guys? It's in the mix. I'm Bonnie Banks hanging out with the super producer, Mr. Hanky. He has produced some of your favorite songs. And tonight we're here with the flip. I wanna know what song of yours in your catalog should they flip? Um, <laughs> I feel we should flip uh, Good Love by City Girls of Usher. Uh, we should flip California by uh, Dolph Colonel Out. Um, and walk around the club. Bless everybody. Walk around the club and bless everybody. Got to put your hands up. Walk around the church and bless everybody. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, I'm with that one. Actually, I like that. All right, so don't go and steal that. Y'all owe me 10%. <laughs> okay, Mr. Hanky, so how hard is it to flip a beat? Because I know you were talking about it earlier with comparison. Yeah. So how hard is it to flip just a song that's already made and it's a top song and now we're trying to make it gospel? Well, I think, like I was saying earlier, um, the biggest misconception about samples of flips is... Like it's the it's the easy thing or it's a it's a cheat code. It's like oh, well, all you did was just take an old song and and redo it and now it's a hit. No, that's that's not really that easy. Um, it actually makes it harder because now you're being compared to like legends and a whole different genre, a whole different time period. So to make it relevant now and translate to today's audience, it's a it's a huge challenge and even a bigger challenge to make it inspirational gospel inspirational so yeah I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes yeah i'm kind of excited too we've got a lot of big names that are going to hit the stage do you know any of them are you excited to see some of them yeah i heard chevy was going to be there um but I, that's what i'm looking forward to um uh, and um a couple other big names but yeah i'm excited like this is very innovative and i this is something i kind of thought would happen maybe by like maybe 10 15 years ago as a kid you know i was thinking you know what would it sound like if we did that and it's crazy we're here. Yes. So I'm excited. Yes, I've told somebody that I've heard a genuine pony flip into gospel and it just did not work for me. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. Hanky. I'm going to send it to you. You guys, we're in the mix. It's your girl, Bonnie Banks. We just hung out with super producer, Mr. Hanky. What's up, guys? It's Bonnie Banks. I'm here in the mix. I'm standing with Sierra and Carly Red. Don't they just look stunning? You guys came for Sunday service. Thank you. Thank you. So, what song do you guys want to hear Flip tonight? Oh, my gosh. I was telling her earlier I want to hear Jock song getting Flip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think I came for the whole Jock performance. <laughs> okay, so I kind of heard you hit a little note over here. Carly, Sierra, now you have your chance. Y'all got to do it together. Come on. It's the Flip. It was. It's going down in the church. Go ahead. Come on. Me, okay. Let's go. Me, 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 me in the, the church. church. It's, it's going, going down. down. <laughs> I love how Carly tried to do the choir. That's perfect. So what else can we expect from you guys? I know you have a restaurant you said you're opening, so where is that at? Location. You know, me and Neo, we own restaurants together. So we have three so far, and we're opening one uh, next to Sugar Factory in Midtown, and then we have another one coming in New York. What about you, Sierra? I know you be cooking it up. 
Yes, yeah, so Ghetto Girl East, and I have a food tasting that's coming up on April the 15th for my new restaurant that's about to open. So, really excited. Yes. Okay, so what kind of food can we expect as a food taster? Oh, just some real southern grandma kitchen arms. Them big, yeah, for real, for real. Those type of dishes, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get thick. That's what we're talking about. For sure, for okay. sure. I love it. All right, how are we bridging the culture right now with having hip-hop songs getting flipped into inspirational songs? I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Too. It's definitely it's a contemporary fun, yeah. time, you know? Yeah. yeah. I feel like it makes it fun, too. Because I feel like you hear your beat of a favorite song, and then when you actually put the God into it, the gospel into it, it just make it even better. Because yeah. I'm like, you know, I'm the churchy, churchy girl. So, yeah. I think it's dope. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, we hanging out with the girlies, Carly Red and C. I love it. You guys, it's In The Mix, and I'm your girl, Bonnie Banks. What's up, guys? It's Bonnie Banks. We're In The Mix, and I'm standing here with producer Drummer Boy. What song would you produce and have flipped? Man, what song uh, would I produce? You know, I produce Here I Am. I produce No Hands. I produce Right Around. I'm getting it. Man, I would flip Here I Am. You know, that's the first record that my mama was like, yeah, I like that, baby. I need some more of them. So, you know what I mean? To be able to do that for Ross, you know, from a t-shirt to a tuxedo, you know what I mean? But, you know, we got another flip for that for sure. Okay, I'm excited about that. So, what would you say is the hardest or maybe the easiest thing about flipping a sample? Um, it's all about really music theory, honestly. Like, I've flipped a lot of different samples. You know, I've replayed a lot of different samples, and that flexibility comes from music theory, notation, being able to read, compose, arrange, um, you know, and transpose, you know what I mean? Because a lot of transposition is really what you're doing and taking it to a different key or a lower key or whatnot, making it faster, slower, things of that nature to disguise what that sample is. But uh, you always want to keep the feel. Sometimes the replay can be difficult. But with that, with that right bass, bass player and the right guitar player, the right organist and whatnot, the right band, you can you can you can get away with it. So, okay. you know, it's all about the musicianship, I think. He dropped a lot of musical terminology. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that one. Um, I was watching an interview with you and T Pain. How do you pronounce Memphis? <laughs> Memphis, for so just just you know. Everybody from the city say it a different way, but you know it's Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. Yeah, like Mem, Mem, Fizz. So you do pronounce the M. Yeah, Mem. <laughs> How do you pronounce Atlanta? Uh, Atlanta. Double A. Yeah, at, at you know what I'm saying, Atlanta, Atlanta. Uh, you know. What I'm, I'm just playing with you, Jumpin' Boy. Thank you for being a good sport. Thank you for joining us again. It's in the mix, and I'm your girl Bonnie Banks. All we got is right now. now.